I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know, I've spent my career in public service. I, I assume that, you know, I'll find some other public service to do. I hope I will. And, you know, whatever whatever happens, happens. I mean, I've, I've had a really good ride, so I, I hope it's not over. And you did say that people, people in, in District 5 really embraced you, and, and every time, you know, when it covers something, I could really tell that they took you by and, and had you as the council member, as if you were there for a long time. Yeah, it was amazing, right? I mean, you know, there were a few things I didn't quite get used to. You know, I didn't get used to people calling me council member, you know, um, and I didn't get used to people telling me, hey, I saw you on television, you know? It's like, really, you did? So, um, but yeah, but the, the best thing about it was the way that the people really did accept me. They didn't regard me as, as a placeholder or somebody who was just sitting there warm in the seat. They regarded me as their representative, and they, they really embraced me as that. Now, election night, where are your thoughts so far? Um, I am anxious. <laughs> I, I'm not, my name is not on the ballot, but, you know, I have some friends who are on the ballot, um, and I'm just hoping the best for, um, for you know, for the lieutenant governor, um, for Mr. Leggett, um, for several members of our state leg legislative delegation. Um, it's, it's, it's a strange year in politics.